Hello everyone, welcome to Zenfi. I'm really excited to walk you through uh, one of the AI powered actions that we've got in Zenfi, which enables you to translate documents as part of the pro uh, your process execution uh, while keeping the original formats of the documents. So like Zenfi and many of our customers, if you've got um, an international presence, so people in different countries, you may want to um, you may want to translate document to into a different language before sharing them, but um, it's not an easy thing to do because you know translations using traditional method, even if you're using AI or computer, they normally um, uh, remove the um, the structure of the document. For example, if you've got a project proposal, you want to uh, translate. You want to basically keep the structure, keep the images, and translate just the text. So today I'm going to show you how easy it is to achieve this with Zenfi. Let's get it started. I'm going to create a new flow with uh, Google uh, Drive folder trigger. So this flow is going to start whenever we um, publish. Okay, now let's configure the trigger. I'm going to say this is a connection and go and watch the drop folder which I've already created. So I've created some uh, folder here, document translation. Uh, and this is a drop folder. So the idea is whenever a file is added to that folder, we want to execute a process. Um, of course, this is just an example. You know, the file can come from anywhere, can come from your Gmail, can come from another drive, can come from a phone, or you may be generating a file dynamically as part of your process execution. So, um, but today my focus is only to show you the, uh, the two new actions which enable you to translate the documents. So I've already shown you one of the documents. Of course, this is a Google Docs and let's start translating this document. So to do that, I'm gonna search for translate document. And as you can see, this is the one for Google Docs. Drag and drop it. Let's start configuring it. Um, the file ID, of course, dynamically is going to uh, come from the file which got uploaded to the folder. I select it. Um, you can select the target language. You can dynamically select it. Say if you got a form that you capture the recipient uh, language, you can all dynamically select it. But in our case, I'm just going to say I will translate it to um, German. And I'll give it an output file name. I use the same. I'm actually um, file name just put uh, the at the front so it's German so it's once the document is generated uh, the new document I'm gonna move it to a specific folder that we'll be watching so move item um, I'll say go and get the file at, uh, the translated document and move it to this folder so uh, we can See document um, translation that folder. Let's hover over it. Let me keep that folder open. Making sure the folder is empty. Okay, is that simple as that? So let's do a test run. Basically, I'm gonna go and select the file, and I select ICP project proposal sample. Let's have a look at the document one more time. This is a document I'm selecting. So it's got tables, it's got images, it's got a bit of highlighting here. Maybe I change the color here to red, so there's a bit more um, to it. And I would say, I'll close the document, go back to Zenfi, select that document, and press the start. Um, let's monitor the progress, and then let's look at the Oh, it's already translated, it's already added. So it's got D at the front. Let me open up the file. And as you can see, uh, it has translated all the text, kept the image, kept the table, kept the formatting as is. As you can see, the highlighted uh, text is highlighted, and uh, the one which made red is red. So, pretty cool, isn't it? Um, it opens up a huge set of opportunity, makes you a lot more efficient and effective. Uh, in your process automation.
Okay, that's um, that's a, that's a one for uh, Google Docs. And so I have a look at for uh, another document. This time we want to translate a uh, Microsoft uh, Office document, Microsoft Word, basically. So as you can see, I've got a sample document here. Uh, it's got a bit of the structure to it. It's got a table. It's got a bit of formatting. So it's pretty similar and easy. So what I need to do, I'm gonna have to delete this action because. Now we need to use another action um, still called um, translate document, but this is the one we want to use, um, not the one under the Google Docs um, uh, category. So the source document is still um, going to be the file content of the document uploaded. Um, that the language I'll mark as auto detect and the target language I'm gonna use maybe French this time. Um, actually, I mean, let's make it a bit interesting. I'm gonna use Arabic um, to see how it handles the right to uh, right to left languages as well. I've, I haven't used it for Arabic before, but this is the first time. But I believe it's gonna work properly for the um, right to left languages as well. So now that the document is translated, what I want is to save the translated document back to the folder that uh, we are monitoring. So I'm just going here and saying, go get the, um, yep, yeah, that one, and destination folder. It's going to be document translation. And the item name, I'm going to say AR, since we are Translate into Arabic, and I just borrow the file name from the file which got uploaded. Okay, I've never done this. As I said, I've never translated anything in Arabic. I've never tested it with any right to left languages, but let's do it together. So I'll select the file, start, go back to this folder. The translated document should appear here anytime now. Oh, there it is. Drum roll. Let's see. How good the AI handles the right to left languages. Um, that's pretty good actually. That's pretty good. If you can see, if you notice, it's changed the direction of the um document from left to right to right to left. That's awesome. Really good. So that's a Microsoft uh, Office. But um, let me delete this one. But we also can translate um. PDF formats and keep the formatting. I've got a sample PDF document here. Um, just gonna try translating this one. Let's go back here. Basically, use the same structure this time. Maybe we just translate it to uh, French. And let's change the file name instead of AR to FR. And everything else remains the same. It's just now uh, for testing purpose. This time I'm going to choose the PDF document. Let's select the PDF document, press the start, let's go back to this folder, and it should appear here anytime. It is, let's open it up. And as you can see, it has translated everything to French which was our target language while keeping the formatting of the PDF documents. There you go, everything is translated, the formatting, the tables, and everything is remained. So um, as you can see, with just uh, one or two actions, you can achieve a lot, leverage the AI to translate the documents, and then you can send these documents to different departments uh, in different parts of the board, uh, who speak different languages, and makes the communication a lot better. And basically, this part also will enable you to put on autopilot. Um, hope uh, you find this helpful, and please let us know if you've got any questions or you've got any suggestions. Thank you very much.